What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more fighting. Wonderful night of fighting. I just watched UFC 189. Before that, I caught the ESPN boxing Thurman Collazo. I still got to watch Herrera versus Hank Lundy. So let me talk and give my review on UFC. Now, this was a good card, a great card. The undercard, I'll start off with that. I'm not going to spend too much time. I'm going to talk about the main event. But Lawler McDonald was an epic fight. It was an awesome fight, very bloody. And the first round was probably a filler round. Then you had Robbie Lawler, who was dictating the pace. And he had McDonald's face looking like Red Skull from Marvel Comics from Captain America. He was just completely bloody. And it looked like in the rematch, we seen where it was headed. The first fight happened. It was a split decision. And it looked like he had complete and total control. However, as with all fighting, you can never count anybody out. So McDonald started it. He actually set it off with a beautiful head kick. And... He had Lawler just buzzed and it looked like he was going to get a stoppage in round three. So round three was very epic. A lot of great action. And then somehow, some way, Lawler bit down deep and he dug down and did what champions do. And he was able to get a stoppage in the final round in the fifth round. So great fight. As far as the main event, Conor McGregor, Chad Mendez. Now, this was supposed to ask a bunch of questions. Now, the only complaint some people will have is that it was a last minute replacement and Chad Mendez didn't have enough time to prepare but that's neither here nor there Jose Aldo pulled out they had to make an executive decision Conor McGregor I thought he used his in the first round he, he used his eight inch reach advantage and his height and his strength and size pretty well and it looked like he had uh, Mendez kind of retreating not really doing much and I thought Mendez was fighting the first half of round one at the wrong range it was definitely beneficial to conor mcgregor but then towards the second half of round one mendez started getting some takedowns so it closed up the round pretty solid for him round two he immediately went back to what worked at the second part of round one which was another takedown and this was a good moment for me to see conor mcgregor because i mean we know he, he has a stand-up game and the striking game but to see exactly what he did with someone with a pure wrestling background, a skilled wrestler, a technical wrestler. What is his wrestling defense like? And in round two, we got to see just that. He was able to survive the takedown. And I thought Chad Mendes was bullying him a little bit on the on the ground. And he was landing some vicious slashing elbows, doing his thing. He was landing. And that's the other thing. You got to give credit to Conor McGregor. Not only did he weather the storm, people didn't know how he would react against a wrestler. He took some big shots, both punches and elbows, right? So the the round was clearly favoring Mendez to me um, with the with the elbows he was landing and the good portion of it was done on the ground. And people don't realize that zaps your energy. It takes all your energy away when you have someone with their body weight on top of you plus landing nice blows and um, vicious elbows on you. And somehow, some way, Conor McGregor found his way. And again, I think he, I think he's just really strong especially for his weight division, found a way to get loose and make it a stand-up game. And he closed the show by stopping Chad Mendez. He, he landed, I think it was a left, and just pushed him back towards the cage. And it was a wrap. And then he just piled it on and got the TKO stoppage in round two. There's no more questions. He's now the interim featherweight champion. Now, I was pissed when they announced that Jose Aldo pulled out and that was no longer. I mean, I'm still mad. But I think this was a good prequel. And it made the Jose Aldo Conor McGregor fight even bigger. So I hope they actually do this because this whole UFC 189 was an event. Like you even look at the weigh-ins, the crowd was going berserk. It looks like a sea of just different people and fans. And I give Conor McGregor full credit because not only does he have Ireland behind him, but he has a massive amount of fans and he puts on a show. I mean, if you watch this Mendez fight, this was probably his biggest test and he's talking shit he's being regular conor mcgregor he was talking shit in fight he's just pushing his hair back and talking shit like come on come on and he puts on a show he definitely put on a show for the massive amount of people in the crowd and um it i think it just now in hindsight it made the jose aldo fight even bigger so great ufc card i'm about to go watch this boxing to see who won with the herrera versus lundy if you watch ufc 189 let me know what you guys thought great fight conor mcgregor he proved a lot of doubters wrong. A lot of people thought his kryptonite would be the wrestling background. And it was good to see that, again, that takes a lot of energy to deal with a wrestler who's having his way with you. You know what I mean? So he proved a lot of doubters wrong. And it was a good performance. And he, he showed you how strong he is. And 
what he comes to do. So he talked the talk, walked the walk. He's now champion. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Make sure you like my video. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off.